to Leslie Te. Now, he is responsible for pairing the best hawkers with the best ingredients. So, Leslie, thank you very much for coming Hi. in today. Uh, back for the second year, the response must have been very good last oh, year. Oh, it was huge last year. So many people who turned up and uh, it was our first year organising the event. So, we had a little bit of a problems here and there, but this year we fixed them all. Okay, so how is this year's event going to be different? Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have new hawkers. And uh, you know what we learned from last year was uh, when it rained, there are certain things that could go wrong. So we made all these improvements. Okay. Uh, and uh, the concept is still the same. We're going to get the best hawkers in Singapore, like uh, like the guy who does this uh, char siu, Fatty Chiong. Yes, let's and have then, a look at that. You know, you look at the char siu, you know it's really good already. But you know, sometimes I lie in bed and I think it can be better. It can be better. It can be even more ultimate because we've got all this wonderful produce now in our country. So, so this is what he produces every no. day at his shop? Well, this is what he produces every day. But for tomorrow, okay. we are getting free range pork from Australia. They're chilled and they're from Swiss butchery. And uh, it's going to be the special part of the pig. And the char siu just comes out sublime. It's like the marbling of wagyu beef. It's just beautiful. It melts in your mouth. Let's pick it up with a chopstick and have a have a close yeah, up for okay. our viewers. This is already this is already very good. Yeah. This is one of the best char siu that I can get in Singapore. But tomorrow it will be one more step nearer to uh, nearer paradise. to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what else? What else should we look out for? Uh, okay, we've got uh, chicken rice. We've got the best uh, chicken rice hawkers, uh, Tian Tian chicken rice, and. We are growing our own chicken for right, the last 90 days. That. That's right. We, we are working with a Singapore farmer who owns the farms in JB. And three months ago, we said we want to have the ultimate hawker fest again this year. So this year, the chicks, you know, from one day old, they're being, you know, pampered and fed with the best stuff. Okay, so, I think we have a picture of you and yeah, the chicken right, right there. We, we went to okay. <laughs> visit the, uh, the farm. And uh, the, so the chickens, uh, it's the best chicken that we can get our hands on. We're, and nobody will... Uh, actually sell this because it's too expensive to do. Right. And not only that, we are using old mother hens to actually cook the soup. Then use the soup to cook these chickens. Then use the resulting stock to cook the rice. So, so everything is going to taste better, but you mentioned something about the cost. It's going to be more expensive. It's, well, actually the cost of setting this whole thing up, uh, it's, uh, you've got people like Stewart Solutions who are doing it out of, uh, for free because it's charity. So we're building this whole thing just for four hours, just for one day. And Millennial Walk is coming in. They've, they've given us the place to use for free. So, you know, the actual, the actual cost of that plate of chicken rice is much more than what you actually pay. Okay. And uh, of course, all the best ingredients, all the hawkers are putting in their time. You know, everybody's just doing this for charity. So it's, uh, it's ready for a good cost. Uh, you've also mentioned something about uh, hawkers coming together, collaborations like a That's dessert. Right. That's right. For, uh, for our chendol, I've got uh, Dove Desserts from uh, Topayo and they are pairing up with Others Ice Cream, right? And she's going to put the chendol, her handmade chendol, the gula malaka that she goes to go, uh, Malacca to buy, you mm -hmm. know, and she, she buys it herself, brings it into Singapore. She makes her, the, the chendol herself. She's going to put in a young coconut and then Others Ice Cream is going to give us some really nice coconut ice cream to put Yum. inside. So, you know, eating this chendol and scraping the uh, young coconut uh, off the uh, the shell, uh, the inside of the coconut and mixing it with all the gula malaka and then the other <laughs> ice cream. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be great. So, so, you know, overall, what do you hope to achieve out of this? You know, to get hawkers to take their, their food to the next level if, if yeah. customers are willing to pay? <clears throat> well, you know, Singapore cuisine is all about hawker food. But uh, I'd want to see Singapore cuisine always limited to what the hawkers can do. Okay. So, you know, the, we want to follow like what, you know, Japanese are doing with sushi, really taking it to the ultimate level. So we want to give the best hawkers in Singapore that chance once a year to try out something uh, something new with the best ingredients that we can get, give to them and then let Singaporeans uh, uh, see hawker food in a different light and hopefully you know the young younger ge generation of Singaporeans will say hey that's a good idea I think I could do even better right. than this and I'm gonna produce something that we can all can be proud of to show off to, uh, to our friends from around the world. All right, thank you very much for coming in today and sure. uh, I'll see you there tomorrow. <laughs> and that was food blogger Dr. Leslie Tay on what you can expect at the Ultimate Hawker Fest tomorrow. And finally, before we go, 